Hey YouTubers, um, thanks again to all of my beloved patrons for helping me produce yet another video. So um, I've been dealing with a lot of stress lately and um, been struggling with self-doubt. Um, it's definitely become apparent in my art. I, I can't just sit and sketch. It's like this weird uh, paralysis of being able to draw or be inspired and um, Quite frankly, it's pretty exhausting. So after several unproductive brawls between my art and myself, um, I received a pretty clear message. And that was to paint loose, like paint without restriction. Don't try and make a portrait. Don't try and draw a tree. Don't try and create a new character for your comic. Don't try and do a specific thing. Just paint, just let loose, you know? So. I decided I'm going to go back um, to some reference pictures and find one that makes me happy. One that I love the color and I feel connected to. <clears throat> and my goals basically are to be general. Um, I used really basic visual references like where the eye location is and your nose and just, just basic feature landmarks um, and focused on color. I wanted to work with just a single layer. Um, I'd mainly fix my errors by adding more paint rather than using undo or erase. And there were some times that I, I did undo, but again, I tried not to rely on it. It's more of a habit, so it was, more, it was difficult to completely omit <laughs> from the process. Um, I wanted to select the proper tone and color without using layer filters. Like I just basically treating it like oils, um, thick oils on canvas. So get the color and the tone right pretty much the first time and then using a slight bit of transparency on the brush allowing um, some under color to show through and create some nice layers. A little bit more to the glazing method of oil painting. So I also wanted to learn more about skin tone specifically. That's something that has intimidated me for a long time and I just wanted to break through it and kind of figure it out and start my my journey on learning how to paint skin. And the only way to do that is to just paint it. <laughs> I can watch all the videos on YouTube that I want and read all the books that I want and there's great information out there but the best way to learn is to just do it. So um, yeah, this is this is basically what, what came of it. I think I spent about three hours on this piece as it was just a study. So I noticed that I go through stages of high confidence and then pretty severe doubt that I can correctly convey a piece as it develops. The first stage of doubt begins with the sensation of wrestling the idea and it, it just overwhelms me. It's like nothing is going smoothly, um, there's something very wrong with the piece and I can't seem to really figure out what it is or why it looks so odd and how to fix it. It's a time when I feel every decision I make is taking me in the wrong direction. Um, but if I, if I convince myself to just keep pushing it, if I just keep doing it anyway, <laughs> um, I generally find that it hits this point where it starts to look really good again and I get excited again. So this is a repeating experience of mine in painting and so I've adopted the mantra, it will always look worse before it looks better. And it helps me follow through with projects and not get too discouraged when I come to my first struggle with a piece where it just looks like it's taking a hard nosedive. Um, so this is where the work comes in for art for me. It's pretty easy to be inspired. You don't have any effort in that at all. It just sort of happens. Um, but it's difficult to be disciplined. I definitely hit a point with this piece um, where I started focusing on all the things that didn't quite look correct between the reference and my piece and I had to keep reminding myself like you're not trying to do a technical portrait. <laughs> it doesn't have to exactly look like her for it to be done, okay? Just it's a it was a study. It was a successful study. Now sign it and get on with your life. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone has to be a masterpiece. So that's about it for this painting. I really appreciate your time today and don't forget to subscribe for my latest videos. I also have a Patreon, um, which I will link below. And thank you very much. Jessica out.